Welcome to Mega Path Presents. I'm Ronnie Hayes, and today we got an update for my comic Doomsday Kingdom. We received the stock for issue number one, second print, and then issue number two right here, the very first time in physical form. My God, I love that cover. So there's a couple things I want to go over, and I want to make this as quick as possible so that way you can get updated, and then you can go play Fortnite <laughs> or whatever the hell it is you're doing. All right, first thing first, the stock is in, which means, yes, we are starting to ship out orders. However, there's different, there's different orders. So, for example, uh, to put this as, as clear as I can, uh, if you just ordered the comic, and let's say you have my signature and you live in the U.S., your order will likely ship out super fast. Uh, because it's in my possession, I sign it, ship it out to you. I think once I ship it in the U.S., it's usually only two or three days, so it's pretty damn quick. Uh, however, if you ordered a special edition and it's signed by both me and the artist living in the U.K., there's no real quick way uh, to have him sign it and me sign it other than sending it to him. So I have the stock. I'm going to sign the copies, send the bulk uh, boxes to him. He's going to open them up sign his copies, send them back, and then I'm going to uh, ship them out individually. So there is extra time. It usually takes about three or four days. I will let you guys know if there's any mix-ups or delays in those shipping. I think one time it, it took, and this was just something we shipped back and forth. It wasn't for the orders, but it, it took like eight days. But we've shipped numerous things back and forth, and it's usually only taken three or four days uh, to go from me to him and then him to me. So uh, that's going to be happening tomorrow I'm gonna to make sure to get that I apologize for those who want your USA order shipped out right away but I do want to get to that UK order the bulk order uh, first thing first because they're the ones who have to wait an extra few days because of the um, shipping back and forth anyway so yeah give me I hope we can get the orders all shipped out in, within a week you know I'm really hoping we can bang that out uh, it is very time consuming and if it takes longer than a week I'll make a couple announcements on Twitter. I'm going to leave the Doomsday Kingdom Twitter down below. I'll try to do daily updates letting you guys know we're shipping out 10 packages, 20 packages. Check your um, notifications, yada, 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 for anyone interested. And also, the website for anyone new here, I do want to touch up the website and make it friendly for new faces to have an introductory page so that way when you go to the website you see what this is and then you know if you're interested in checking it out or not and for anyone who isn't new but you have questions don't forget the official email probably the easiest one to reach us is doomsdaykingdom at gmail.com I know there's been people trying to reach out on so many different social medias and for example Instagram I don't think I've checked Instagram in a month I've been so busy I haven't even checked any private messages I guarantee if I go in there there's one or two people asking me about their orders on Instagram um, I'm not mad at you not yelling at you just letting you know if you want a direct connection doomsday kingdom at gmail.com we check it at least once a week uh, we try when things are popping like when we have the orders uh, we try to check that daily so if there is any issues fear not we will get it all cleared up don't worry about it and uh, we'll do our best to remedy any problems that could arise uh, also restock and then I'll move right on to the last point I don't want you here forever uh, well I do but I don't I don't want to waste your time uh, we are gonna try after issue two and once we're done with issue two shipping uh, for this you know run anyway not this run but some people have their orders on hold for issue three once we ship out everyone who doesn't have their orders on hold then we're going to focus on the release dates and announcements for issue three. We want to do this one step at a time. Uh, so for anyone just getting here, don't worry. We got extras of issue number two. So there will be uh, plenty restock available for those who want to get two when issue three comes out. And also there's some different versions of issue one, uh, like the second print. We're going to make sure we at least restock uh, 10 copies a day from now until however long it takes for us to completely sell out of air all the stock we have by then hopefully we're on issue like four or five <laughs> so or five or six anyway and that leads us to the future of doomsday kingdom we're at a a weird place right now when it comes to the comic because uh, if we focused both of us me and james solely on the comic a lot of his time will be taken up doing the artwork for the comic. Matter of fact, every single day like a real job. And then for me, 
since the comic is pretty much written, I just have to polish the script, which does get time consuming when you start picking it apart and uh, moving some scenes around and shifting things and the structure and whatnot. Uh, but my time would go heavily into maintaining the website. But the most uh, time consuming thing would be the orders. I handle about 85, 90% of the orders since that's uh, a majority of the orders come from the US. So that would eat up, for example, issue one, I took three weeks off. I believe it was three weeks off, three solid weeks off just to get issue one shipped out. If we did that every single month, just like with issue one, uh, and we were gaining readers as well, I would have to take three weeks off, maybe four weeks off, focus solely on this, which means the YouTube channel would get minimal attention. I'd probably only do like a video or two a week, uh, but we would be cranking out the comic and self-publishing it, meaning we would be making a living off the comic. We would just be scraping by, as far as making a living, like just be scraping by, but we're at a point where the numbers are lining up we might be able to jump off that ledge and make that possible. However, there's so many risks in that. If it crumbles, it's it's going to crumble and it'll take us with it, you know? However, another option is looking at publishing. Finding a publisher, seeing if they're interested, and then getting it picked up because then they would handle one of the most time-consuming aspects would be shipping out the orders. Uh, because doing it one person shipping out thousands of orders man <laughs> you know I'm man alive it is insane it takes forever so that would be our next step that's gonna be our main focus after issue three is to hunt down a publisher and get these in comic book shops I know there's another way we're gonna look into where I guess we get it distributed in comic book shops but we don't go through a publisher we go through diamond distribution as long as you're selling 2,000 copies uh, a month they will pick up the comic uh, if it's something they believe in and they think there's enough interest in um, it's looking like we might be able to definitely uh, go to diamond and say listen we can absolutely hit that 2,000 we would probably have to bring the numbers to them and however that works but I am gonna look into that so if you guys are interested I don't know if maybe we will in the future create some type of buzz where we'll ask your favorite um, again we'll let you know because we're gonna be also picky with who we go with but maybe image for example is a big independent maybe we'll ask people to say image we want this you know if they got the actual fans the actual readers coming out to them like crazy saying this is the next book we want you guys to put out um, that's got to look good, at least for something. But like I said, when that time comes, we'll discuss it. We might not even get to that. We might be able to do the, the pitch ourselves, and hell, they might like it enough to say, okay, that's something we want to take the chance on. So uh, if there's anything I missed in here, we'll probably do like a little uh, wrap-up video. But if you want, I'm going to start doing the, uh, now that we got the stock and we're shipping, I'm going to start doing the updates on the Doomsday Kingdom Twitter. So again, all the links for Doomsday Kingdom and for uh, Make a Path Presents, they are all down in the video description below. And I want to keep talking with you guys, <laughs> uh, absolutely. But like I said, I want to make this just about the updates. So coming up in between issues two and three, like I promised, we're going to go back and do the commentary for issue number one. And then when we're moving on, <clears throat> excuse me, when we're moving on to issue number four, we're going to go back and I'm going to do a commentary with issue number three. That is extremely exciting in my, or I'm sorry, issue number two. Uh, I'm going to do individual commentaries for each issue uh, because there's some things that I, I can't wait to discuss, like why I um, chose to do certain things with uh, a big event that happens in issue two. There's a half an hour time missing between where the father's dealing with a sick daughter and then the father's outside smoking a cigarette. There's a missing time there. And one of the big things is to not be repetitive because we're going to see that moment later on when he uh, talks to somebody about what's going on. And I didn't want to have to show it twice because I don't want to make his dialogue uh, when he talks to that person uh, like, oh, you know, she's gone, <laughs> you know, like they do in certain TV shows or Hollywood does in movies all the time. They know the audience knows it, so they don't have the people talk like normal people. So what I did was cut out that moment there, and then we'll see that moment later on, and then you'll get the whole picture. Little things like that I, I can't wait to discuss. So, and ideas for 
uh, what I was thinking with the uh, final pages in issue two and why that is important and what that does for the genre. Because I feel, as a zombie fan, that is incredibly important setting up these stages uh, because then we can please more than just the one type of fan. The fan that just loves classic zombies, you're going to get that. But a fan that wants something a little different, a little more threatening, a little more fast, a little more vicious, uh, beating, maybe a little more faster moving than your classic zombies, you get that as well. But it, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't uh, infringe, is that the word I'm looking for? on the fans who want the classic zombies because you got the best of both worlds. Anyway, we're going to dive into stuff like that now that we are really diving in with uh, multiple issues released. We're on issue three now, and uh, just I'm excited. Like I said, if I don't shut up, I'm going to keep talking about the comic. <laughs> so thank you very much, guys. This is something, and I've said this numerous times, and it stays true. It will always be true, but this is something that you guys help create. There's three people who made this possible? Uh, me, I created Doomsday Kingdom. James, he's drawn the shit out of Doomsday Kingdom. And every single one of you guys, as a whole, collectively, without you, me and James, <clears throat> we couldn't have done it. it was, it's just not possible. So the three of us, <laughs> me, James, you, <laughs> we made Doomsday Kingdom. And here it is. So, uh, very excited. Leave your, your thoughts, opinions, or any Q&A questions. We might do a Doomsday Kingdom Q&A coming up. Leave anything down in that comment box. And like I said, any uh, uh, questions about your order, doomsdaykingdom at gmail.com. We will be sure to uh, remedy any problems that may arise. All right, guys. I love you. Thank you very much, and have a good night.